Hi there, my name is Michael de Miranda. This is a shikere, I love this instrument. There are many different types of shikeres. This is one uh, made from a calabas and the net around is, it, it's, it's a little bit loose. You can see it hangs uh, uh, way down here and that means that you have to work a little bit harder. The movements you make are bigger. Uh, there are different like work. This one, the net is pretty tight, then you don't have to work. You can make small movements. Uh, of course you have uh, from fiber skin um, with plastic pearls. Uh, the sound, I don't really like this sound that much, but uh, there's a nice tone in it. Um, okay, but uh, the thing is, if you want to learn uh, shikere, there are different ways to play this uh, shikere. In African, there are already a lot of different uh, ways to play it. You have shikeres that they hang with a rope here, and you just play it like this. You have the shikeres with the long uh, net, and you can uh, pull it under it and ch 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 you can play it like this. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to play uh, the shikere. Uh, I want to show uh, you how you can play it, how they play it in Cuba and also in Brazil a little bit. Um, but f uh, when we start with the technique, uh, it's important that you have it, you hold it like this. This is my strong hand, my uh, right hand, and this is on the bottom of the shikere. This is the left hand. When I want to make uh, a note, an attack, then when I move the shikere to this side, I will catch it with my palm. And when I stop the movement, that's when the sound is coming. So when I do this, I catch it with my palm. Then you have the... On this side, it's the same. I hold it like this, but my wrist is not locked. It's not... No, my wrist is loosened. So when I'm here and I push it here, then I will stop it with my palm and I have the attack here. not easy to, to show because it's behind the shikere. I can see this, that you don't see it, but if I hold it like this, you see. So the first exercise is actually just moving it from one side to the other side and making this attack, attack with your right and left hand, like this. So you get used, especially your left hand on this side, because this shikere has a nice form, nice shape, but uh, I will take another one. Also when you have this one, uh, you also this has, doesn't have this angle, so you think, oh, you can do this with your wrist, but you still have to make this attack there. So. Now what we do is actually the same, but we do twice with your right hand and then twice the left hand. So slowly and then the left hand the same. It's only to, to get used to uh, using the palm of your hand and not that you are holding it, that you lock your wrist and that you, you can play it like this. 
but that's not how it's done with the shakiri. So this wrist needs to be loosened. So you, when it goes here, it's I still have contact here, I hold it, but when it comes back, my wrist Yeah, like this. Okay, let's do another exercise. I will take one with a nice tone, this one. It has a nice tone. Um, the first beat is downwards, here. Then the second one to the left hand, here. Then right, but sidewards, here. And left again. And then the first beat is coming again, down. So you have... Like this, that's the, the movement. The thing is, when I have it down here, then I make this tone with the palm. So you hear, you will hear, if you have a nice calabas or a nice uh, from Friday skin, if you have... Then you can hear the bass tone that's in there, the doom. Then to the left side, making the attack. Then if I come to the right side, I just want to have the attack and not the tone. So I will stop it, but not making this sound. It's like I stop it with this part here of my hand, but I don't make the full impact to get this tone. Only downwards. So it's like this. Yeah, like this. Okay, um, now, if you practice this, you get used to the shaking, making the tone, using your right hand and your left hand. That's, that's important. Um, I did the double stroke, so that you do two with one hand. I did this because if you want to play uh, uh, patterns, um, uh, for example, if you have a, a samba pattern which is played on tambourim, the tam tam ta tam pam 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 pa tam pam pam pa pam 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 pa tam. If you want to play this, you can play it like this. That's the first thing you should e exercise. Then. You play a shakiri. If you play the same, but shaking it down and all the rests that there are, you fill it with your left hand. So you start playing like this. Yeah, you saw what I did. I started playing downwards to get the pattern right, but then I played sidewards, horizontal. So I can fill all the spaces with my left hand. And then you play like you should play on a shakere. And if you know how this works, you can... Uh, now I did something from samba, but you can also play the, the, the Cuban, the timbales, uh, the ta 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 
you can play those patterns you can play six eight patterns you can then you can translate the patterns to this shakir and there are a lots uh, lots of different rhythms that are very beautiful that you can play on this uh, shakir um, but those are exercises you have to do to get used to the shaking and to get used to make this uh, attack with your right hand but also with your left hand that's important and to make this bass tone to create create this open tone this doom, that's important so i hope you can use these uh, exercises i will put uh, a link in the description where i put uh, i've done something before with shakeris it's called it's a rhythm from uh, cuba it's called wiro and uh, it's with three different shakeris i put the link in the description and if you want you can uh, look at this too and perhaps you can learn something there too okay i hope you can use this information and i hope to see you next time okay bye bye